What is up filmmakers? I've got a nice little After Effects tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do this 2.5D animated text style. Uh, now you might recognise this from the Creator Circuit video that I did. I had loads of people messaging me about how to create this effect. So I thought I would share the secret sauce and make a full on tutorial about it. This 2.5D style is something that I do quite a lot of. The way it works is you create a 2D animation uh, and then you basically bring it to life using 3D camera moves. So I should say this is going to be a two part tutorial. So the first part is here on the Filmmakers channel and then the second part is going to be on my channel which is at AR Visual UK. So once you've finished watching this, definitely click through and check out that part two there. Alright, let's do this. So playing now, I've got one of the compositions that I made for the Creator Circuit video. This whole 2.5D text style is a combination of two different things. So the first thing is actually quite straightforward, simple 2D text animation. And then the second part is the slightly more complicated 3D camera moves that make it seem much more exciting and dynamic. So if I just show you in here, we've got this pre-comp. And this is just a bunch of simple text layers. And I've done all my animations. I'll play this through. So this is the simple 2D animation section of it. And then when we jump out into the main comp, let me just give you two views so you can see the camera movement. On the left, you've got the final image which is coming through the After Effects camera. And on the right, you've just got a static front view. Uh, and you can see this pink camera which is moving around and animated. So what we're gonna do once we've created our 2D background text animation, we're gonna then add a 3D camera and we're gonna create these cool dynamic movements which really brings the text to life. So this is the final comp that we're gonna be making today. If I just switch the camera off, you can see it's pretty much the same thing. We've got a background layer with our 2D text being animated, and then we add in our 3D After Effects camera, which creates these cool dynamic movements. So let's do it. Let's create a new comp and build this from scratch. I'm gonna composition, new composition. I'm gonna set it to Instagram size, so that's 1080 pixels by 1350, 25 frames per second, because I'm in Europe. Duration, let's make it five seconds long. And we're going to call it Filmmaker's Toot. Hit OK. So the first thing we need to do is just going to create some real simple text animation styles. So I'm going to hit the text tool. I'm just going to type in Filmmaker's and then Awesome. Make that font size 74. Uh, we're using a font called Roboto Black. Got that set to all caps. I'm going to go to Align and I'm going to just align it to the center. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my rulers are visible. So I'm going to go to View show rulers here and then if you've got your rulers on the side you can just drag in and you can create a guideline so we'll put one there we'll put one there and that should mean that our text ends up in the right position so we've got filmmakers awesome i'm going to rename that i'm going to call it filmmakers awesome and then back and you'll see why in a second and what i want to do is i just want to animate this in nice and simply i want it to fade in from left to right so i'm going to go drop down animate opacity turn that down to zero i'm going to use the range selector here to just keyframe the start so you can see it animates in and out like that. So we'll set a keyframe at zero, and then we'll set another one at one second at 100%. And select both of these keyframes and hit function F9, and that's gonna easy ease them. And now if I play this through, we'll get a nice animated text like that. Now the reason I call this back is we're actually gonna do a front layer as well, and the front is gonna be slightly above the back in 3D space. So I'm gonna duplicate this, I'm gonna press command D. I'm gonna rename that front. Now this text, I don't want to be an outline. I want this text to be solid. Uh, so I'm gonna make filmmakers all white. So just come over here, turn that to all white. And then awesome, I'm gonna fill that orange. Pick a nice orange color for this. Yeah, nice. I want this to come in letter by letter. I want it to fly in through 3D space. So I'm gonna go down uh, into my animation that I've got going on here. I'm gonna animate, enable per character 3D. So I'm gonna add in another property uh, and this is going to be position and then we're going to set this to minus 500 on the z-axis and then what that will do is when I press play now is the letters are going to fly in from the top like that now what I actually want is I want my foreground layer to be a little bit in front of the background layer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the background layer to the foreground layer so go, come into the parent column here and click front and now when I move the front layer the background layer will move with it uh, and then I'm going to hit P on the position of the background layer, make sure that it's selected to be a 3D layer, and then I'm just gonna hit 20. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put the background layer 20 pixels behind the foreground layer in 3D space. And then when we come to look at it with our 3D camera in a second, the background layer is just gonna sit behind. It's gonna look a lot nicer. So now we're gonna do 2.5D. So just type in 2.5D. 
I'm going to make this massive. I want this to be as wide as those guidelines that I just put in. Now I want this to be a 3D layer as well, so I'm going to hit the little 3D icon here. I'm going to come to about 1 second and 20 frames. I'm going to hit P and set a position keyframe for that. And then I'm going to come back about 15 frames. And I'm just going to keyframe this on the Y axis, drag it all the way down so it's out of the screen like that. And then same thing again, I'm going to easy ease these keyframes. So select them, you go right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And that's just going to mean we get a nice smooth movement as this comes in. Sweet, that looks good to me. And then the same thing again, we're going to need a foreground and a background for this 2.5D. So rename, we're going to go front. And then we're going to duplicate, command D, put that underneath, rename, back. Now, same thing again with this, I want to parent my back to my front. So I go into the parent column here. And then what I can actually do is I can delete the position keyframes from this because it's going to inherit the position from the front. And because we've already keyframed the front, we don't need to keyframe the back as well. Um, but I do want to do the same thing again. I want to push it back in 3D space by 20 pixels. So just set the Z position to be 20. And if I play that through, we've actually got two layers there. What I need to do is I just need to make sure that background layer is set to outlines because that's the style that I'm using for this. So I'm going to flick that round to being outlines over here in the character panel and then make the color white. Nice. And now you can see I've got my cool background sitting there as well. Play that through, Filmmaker's Awesome 2.5D. And then let's just do the final line of text for this animation. And that is going to be text animation. That's coming out way too big. Let's just scale that down to, to again so it fits in within these guidelines that I've created. Center that up, put it in the right position. And then with this, I'm gonna have the word text in orange and the word animation in white. So we just need to create the animation for this. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna have the two words flying in from the bottom. So we're gonna go make this a 3D layer as well, toggle it down, animate, and then we're gonna use the position animator again. And then just turn that Y number all the way down so it's off the screen like that. And then we're gonna use the range selector again at two seconds, we're going to start our animation. So we're going to hit the range selector, put a keyframe at 0% at two seconds, and then come to three seconds, we'll keyframe that to 100. What I'm actually going to do for this one is I'm going to go into advanced, and I'm going to go based on words. And now my two words are going to fly in one after another like that. So let the keyframes hit, function F9, easy ease. And we've got our text animation words coming in now as well. Great. Now let's just create the background layer for that. So text animation, rename, call that front. I'm going to duplicate this again, command D, put that behind, rename, call it back. And for this background layer, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to go back to the original style of animation that I used at the very top for the filmmakers awesome. So instead of animating the position, we can just delete the position section from the animator. I'm going to add an opacity selection again and drop that down to zero. And now the background layer should type on, although it's still set to words, so we're going to need to go back to characters. So now the background layer should type on and the foreground layer flies on. Let me just make the background layer outlines. So we'll come over here and we'll set it to white. And then the final thing I want to do again is, is move it 20 pixels behind the foreground in 3D space. So we'll do the same parent thing where we parent this to the front layer and then we hit P and whack 20 pixels onto the Z axis like that. And now we've got our simple 2D text animation layer complete. We'll play that through. Filmmaker's awesome 2.5D text animation. Wicked. There's obviously lots more complicated things that you could do for this, um, but I've just kept it nice and simple for this tutorial because this is mainly about the camera movement and not about the text animation. But if you take a look at the project file, um, there's a link down in the description below. You'll be able to see some of the more complicated bits and pieces that I've done in the other compositions that I've included in the project file. So that is it for part one. Uh, now you'll definitely want to stick about and find part two, which is on my channel, and we'll go through the 3D camera move part of this tutorial. So I'll see you over there.